Jimmy is a young lad who lives in Toronto. Unfortunately, Jimmy has diabetes. One day at his grandfather's house, Jimmy was playing hide and seek with his imaginary friend. Oh, I should hide in this closet. This is perfect. Wait, what is that? Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm sorry. I just came out of the closet. Man, where am I? Allow me to introduce us. I'm Frederick Banting, and this is my assistant, Charles Best. Good day. Gosh, golly, you're the guys who invented insulin. Insulin? Yes, I take it every day. Unfortunately, I have diabetes. We have synthesized a formula for lowering blood glucose levels, but we call it Islatin. But insulin sounds way better. Okay, are you guys operating on that dog? Yes, we are. We took out the pancreas of the dog and gave it diabetes. Yes, and from the pancreas, we extracted the hormone islatin, and islatin can lower people's blood glucose levels. Well, we're trying to cure this young boy, Leonard, of his diabetes. He has a really severe case of diabetes, and he's our first human test subject. We're going to try out the insulin on him. Gee, Dr. Best, I feel swell. I'm just gonna take a sample of your blood. Yes, yes, we've successfully lowered his blood sugar levels with insulin. Well, you came out of the closet, right? You better, you better get back in there before the professor gets here. Which professor? John McLeod, he's funding our project. Well, I've had a great time with you guys, but I gotta go. Dagnabbit! Back where I started. What no. do you mean? No, it's, it's 1932 right now. It's been 10 years since we last saw you. Well, what have you guys done since I last saw you? Well, we ended up lowering Leonard's blood sugar levels, and after that breakthrough, we started to mass produce insulin. Yeah, and Kevin Professor McLeod won the Nobel Prize for Medicine, which was complete applesauce. That was totally horse feathers. Well, I shared half of my prize money to Dr. Best over here because he did contribute a major role into discovering insulin. Well, I wanted to ask you this before. Why did you want to find the cure to diabetes in the first place? Well, I read an article about the pancreas and I was wondering if I could find a cure for diabetes. Yeah, uh, Professor McLeod assigned me as his assistant. Well, that's pretty cool. And how did your discovery of insulin affect people with diabetes? Well, before, people with diabetes usually died, and now people with diabetes can live much longer, thanks to insulin. As soon as we started to mass produce insulin, it started to extend the lives of millions of people around the world. Well guys, I gotta, I gotta go. I'll see you later, bro. See you later. Bye, later.
We have synthesized a formula for lowering blood glucose levels, but we called it Islatin. But insulin sounds. We... <sighs> Are you guys operating on. Okay. Are you guys operating on that dog? Well, what have you guys done since then? Well, we ended up lowering Leonard's. Leonard's. Well, I read a magazine article about the pancreas, and I was very interested in how or why people get diabetes. And yeah, and G I was a student at University of <laughs> Toronto. No, no, it was something. Well, I read an article about the pancreas, and I wanted to learn how people got can diabetes and how to s wanted to find a cure. I stopped it. Uh, okay. 